All these machines are built so that they'll function without any human intervention if just shaken from side to side at random by an unmotivated mechanism. But a strictly random procedure would take many hours, and here they'll be demonstrated by hand. Since the first part of the film was made, some of the development's forecast have been realized. No machine yet demonstrates all biological processes, so that several different designs have to be used. We are now going to show eight different experiments. These pieces are neutral to one another, and if shaken together so that they collide, they do not join up. However, when a two-piece complex, or seed, is present, it absorbs them as food and reproduces itself. By altering the tilt of levers to change the internal releasing mechanism, we can build a three-piece seed. This triple structure can build itself up by acquiring new material. It builds up to six pieces. And at that point, it splits into two equal parts, each just like the original. This process is akin to the division of a single cell. The action is shown in more detail in the third experiment. Neutral units have green indicators, the small squares on the sides. They do not link up. A triple live seed is introduced. The outside skin shows yellow, the cytoplasm red, and the nucleus blue. As the live seed takes up its food, the cytoplasm, the two red on the left, increases, and the blue nuclear matter separates. By gathering more food, the organism grows to double its size, and when this process is complete, it will split into two equal parts. These parts settle down, and each is now just like the parent object. Going back to the earlier machine, another feature is recombination. If conjugation takes place, by chance lateral association of a two-piece and a three-piece seed, a hybrid can be formed. There is the hybrid. Let's watch this again from above. First of all, chance lateral association of a two-piece and a three-piece seed. This produces a hybrid, a creature which is asymmetrical, with a tail and a head. This has half its instructions from each parent. Now, this hybrid can feed, just as before, and can build up to a length of five units. When the meal is finished, it will split into two unequal parts, each of which can build up to five in the same way. The hybrid displays some odd, rather unexpected properties. The two unequal forms are interchangeable. Furthermore, they can act as parents for reconstituting the original type of creature. In this way, the ordinary principles of Mendelism can be demonstrated. There's the original type of three-piece creature in the center. Natural selection by survival of the fittest is best shown artificially by a very simple machine in this experiment. First of all, we take a number of these pieces and place them in a slide And after shaking them about, we find that they don't link up. They are neutral. To get them to link up, an active seed, a linked pair, must be introduced. Here it is. When it is in the slide, several copies are made. But that live seed is unfit if certain obstructions are present. Here are the obstructions we're going to use, the grey molecules. 
With these in the slide, the live seed can't penetrate and its reproduction is limited. However, a different live seed, this one, is equally capable of self-reproduction and can also penetrate the obstacles. There we have the parent and two offspring. In this next experiment are some models which are analogous to high energy molecules caught and discharged by living objects in building themselves. These units are neutral and even when charged, they don't link up. There are two kinds of neutral unit identified by the colored indicators along their top edges. This one has blue, red, blue and this one, two whites and a red. Here they are being charged before introduction to an active live pair. Now the active live pair carries a program or information key. Here it is, blue, white, blue at the top. It unlocks, discharges and incorporates the molecules and there goes the parent seed off to the right, leaving the child, the new active pair, to carry on reproducing. It too catches charged neutral units and then it splits. Finally, what are we left with? Two new active pairs carrying the same program, blue, white, blue, the program of the original seed. Limitations in size and the amount of information that can be carried are avoided by these molecules. They again can't link unless activated. They can be built into self-replicating chains of any given length. A seed of two connected units replicates itself and a chain of three builds another chain of three in a similar way. Orderly growth is ensured by the shapes of the levers. We can use more than one type of unit. Here is a chain of two blues replicating. Using both red and blue units, like always pairs with like, so that the new chain formed is exactly like the old one. Not until the final unit is in place on the new chain can the last cross link holding old and new together be released. For the final experiment, only one kind of molecule is required and, as usual, in its neutral state, it is inactive. By combining the various mechanisms used in simpler structures, the principle of reproduction can be extended to large objects with several strands. Note that each side of the growing object can only be extended in an orderly manner. The whole thing holds together until the very last unit is added and then it comes apart down the centre. Two similar creatures which gently repel each other and are unable to reunite after separation. The devices which you have seen in action show how the division of complicated organisms can be mimicked. An actual living organism does more than the machines, of course, but it may be that its methods are basically similar.